Well, fall is almost here, and with the change of seasons comes the onset of new allergies. Unfortunately, the season is coinciding with the global pandemic, and the coronavirus outbreak could make it difficult to tell the difference between coronavirus symptoms and allergy symptoms. Yeah, it's very frustrating. Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandi has woken up early to help sort this out for us. Good morning, Dr. Nandi. Morning, how are you? Doing well. I mean, there is a, an issue. A lot of people can't tell the difference. How do we, how do we just differentiate? Yeah, Alicia, it could be a little, little tricky, right? There's really no, no reason to panic, however, because a lot of folks tell me, well, I don't know if I'm getting COVID or is the allergies. Well, there are symptoms that are common to both allergies and COVID, right? Like coughing, sore throat, shortness of breath, sometimes even a fatigue or even a loss of, of taste or smell. And people with COVID sometimes have loss of taste or smell. That can be common, but there's some differences, right? First of all, if you're running a temperature, probably not allergies. A fever is typically one of the first symptoms of of coronavirus, right? And another telltale sign is not allergies. You may be having more of, of nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. And keep in mind, COVID-19 tends to affect the entire bodies, while allergies really don't. On the flip side, sneezing and itchy uh, eyes, nose, throat, and ears, you guys know about this, likely attributable to environmental allergies. So if you have fall allergies each year like I do, or probably everybody in Michigan, right? You know better than anyone how it affects you. So if you're experiencing symptoms out of the ordinary, contact your doctor for the appropriate test. And if it turns out you got COVID-19, then you want to make sure you quarantine and get the uh, get, get folks uh, uh, you know that are around you to know, know that you had the virus. All right, then, uh, Dr. Nandy, is there a difference in how long the symptoms uh, impact you that also might be a way to differentiate allergies versus the coronavirus? You know, absolutely, and that's another, that's another clue about what's really happening, right? Allergies will likely last the entire season. Uh, Alicia knows about this, and I know about this, yeah. until, or until you treat that with medication. In most cases of coronavirus, the symptoms last, you know, typically for most people a couple of weeks, some, some people longer. In severe cases, of course, it can last longer and even require hospitalization. Now, I'm, I'm curious about this, Dr. Nandy. Are allergy sufferers at a higher risk of contracting COVID-19? It's a good question. You know, the, the, the main thing, Alicia, is that what could make allergy sufferers more prone to catching diseases like COVID-19 is that, you know what, we frequently touch our faces. We, we you know, with the chances of, uh, of, of that increase during an outbreak in the community. Well, when you think about it, when you have allergies, and, and I, I, I have a tough time with this, you tend to touch or scratch your eyes and wipe or blow your nose, right? So if you touch an infected surface and then touch your face, it could potentially spread the virus. And so... You know, what I would say for folks who are allergy sufferers who are worried about that, wash your hands often, right? Not just that, you know, once in a while, wash your hands often. If you don't have soap, like you know, your work environment, use hand sanitizer if that soap and water is not readily available. But in this season, there's some, there some differences I think we can, we can uh, differentiate between the two so we don't panic. So since this pandemic started, seriously, though, that's been one of the hardest things for me to, to get a hold of. Is stop touching my face. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, I all of us didn't realize how many times a day I touched my face right. uh, until we had the pandemic. Dr. Partha Nandi, uh, health editor here at Channel 7. Thank you so much for waking up my with pleasure. us this morning.